Welcome back fuckers. Alrighty, today we're going to run through how to spawn in individual groups of units. So just to give you a little bit more flexibility when you're making some training missions for example. So if you wanted, we've got three different types of groups here. So we've got a group of T90 battle tanks. Okay, we've got seven of them there and they're called armor. We've also got another group called AAA. Okay, and we've got ZG23s. And we've also got another group called SA6, which is a SA6 SAM site battery. Okay, so there are three groups. They're all set to late activation. Okay, so if you want to use or want to make these spawn in off of a trigger, make sure you check late activation is what we want. So that's our three groups. Now we're going to go into the triggers and we're going to add a radio item. Okay, and as always with your trigger name, always uh, name it what it actually does. Radio uh, enemy units spawn. Okay, just so it makes sense to you. And I'm going to come over here and we're going to go to uh, where is it? Radio item add for coalition blue. And we're going to call it spawn enemy armor. All right, flag value is going to be two. All right, and the reason why I'm going flag value two is because I've already used flag one in my tanker. Okay, so if you've already used a flag and you use it again, it's going to make every other trigger that uses. So if I used flag one for everything, as soon as the first time the flag fired, it would spawn everything else. Okay, so what I like to do is in the name of my trigger, if I use a flag, I put at the end and a little asterisk and then the number of the flag that I've used. So I'm going to do that on this one as well. Just so you can look at a glance and go, okay, on the triggers, I've used flag one, I've used flag two. So you can see which flag you're up to. It just makes your life easier trying to remember which flag you're up to, which, what flags you've used already. So that's a cool little trick I've found. So we've got spawn enemy armor, flag two, value one. All right, and now because we're going to use, we've got three more, three more groups that we need to uh, spawn in. We're going to clone this two more times. Okay, click on it, clone, clone, Y. There we go. For some reason that didn't work. Okay, so we've spawned or we've cloned it twice, and we're just going to change these to AAA and. SA6. All right, and then for our values, we're going to flag 2, 2, flag 2, 3. All right, the radio item add. So we've got in there now, we've, we'll have in the F10 menu uh, an option to spawn in enemy armor, enemy AAA, enemy SA6. Now we're going to actually make a, uh, a trigger to spawn them in. You can activate the groups. And now again, we're going to go to here, call it what you need to call it, which is going to be enemy unit spawn actually we'll call it uh, enemy armor spawn all right so we're going to set up the first one spawn our enemy armor so now we're going to go conditions so because we've told it that uh when, when we press that button on the f10 it's going to it's going to fire flag number two value number one so we're going to go flag equals and the flag is number two value is number one in the actions we're going to come down and we're going to go to group activate armor okay and remember we called our groups the specific names and this is where the naming comes in it helps a lot make sure you name your groups properly otherwise it makes it really confusing to figure out what group is what that you want to fire okay so group activate armor and then just because we're going to add in a message to coalition blue and we're going to call it enemy armor units spawned in and we'll make it 20 seconds and we'll go to another one and we're going to make a sound sound to coalition make this blue open and let's make it that loop that sound there will do all right, so that is our group activate armor set up. So now we can clone this one twice. 
one, two, and we're just going to change the name of this. And now we're going to call this enemy AAA spawn. Instead of flag two, one, we're going to flag two, two, because remember, enemy spawn AAA flag two, two. Flag equals two, two, group activate AAA message enemy AAA unit spawned in, and we'll leave the sound as it is. And then the last one, we're going to change this to SA6. Ooh. SA6 spawn flag equals two number three for value. Group activate is going to be our SA6 group. Change the message enemy SA6. A little battery. Enemy SA6 battery spawned in. All right, and that is it. And oh, also one more thing. Uh, let's go new, we're gonna go uh, radio item remove for coalition. So you don't have to do this, it's just a nicety. Uh, and we're gonna call it, uh, what do we got? Spawn enemy armor. So you gotta call this the exact name. Enemy armor. Did I put a capital in it? Did. Copy that. Paste. Spawn enemy armor, and we'll do that again for this. So this is where um, it would have been smarter to just do this first clone or first trigger set up properly with the radio item remove and all that stuff, and then just clone it three times as quickly change stuff. But because we didn't. We have to put this shit in manual, so I'm just gonna quickly do that now and we'll join us, or you will join me back in the mission when we spawn all these units in. So I'll see you guys in the mission. All right guys, we're in the uh, mission now and we're gonna quickly just go to F10, zoom on out. Okay, so we had all of those units set up to spawn at Kovale Airfield. So we're going to go ahead and, cool little trick, if you want to look at a spot on the ground, okay, at Kovale, we're going to zoom right in. Let's uh, have a look at these helicopters. Okay, so we're going to zoom in nice and close, left click on where you would like the camera to be looking. Okay, you're going to left click on the map, and then this is where the magic happens. You press left control and let F11, and it magically puts the actual real camera, the free view camera, looking at that spot on the map. Okay, so now we can see those helicopters and the uh, the Russian transport aircraft, whatever the hell that is. And we are at Kovaletti. We're just gonna zoom on out. All right, so you can zoom in and zoom out by using numpad divide to zoom out. We're gonna move backwards, numpad multiply to move forward and just use your mouse to kind of control where it goes. But you can see there, there's no units actually on the airfield. There's no tanks, there's no uh, AAA, there's no nothing there at the moment because we haven't spawned in yet. So now we're going to bring in our uh, F10 options. We're going to go spawn enemy armor. We should hear the uh, the radio click and it should say enemy armor spawned in just like we typed in the mission editor. So here we go. Boom, enemy armor unit spawned in. And you can see right now there is tanks spawned in okay so the armor has spawned in so now if we go to f10 all right because we could we uh, put that radio item removed the uh, spawn enemy armor is removed because we've already spawned it in we don't need it to be there anymore now we're going to do the same thing spawn enemy triple a and there's our triple a okay zu 23s on the back of trucks and then the last one, our SA6 should spawn over here. So we'll just get the camera looking this way. F10, spawn enemy SA6. Booyah. And there's our SA6 battery. Doing its thing. So that is how you do separate group spawnings using the F10 uh, radio menu. Okay. That is all she wrote. Pretty straightforward. Once you get the hang of it makes stuff a lot more fun so you can uh set it up so you, like if you want to uh set up just a bombing practice area all right where there's nothing that can really hurt you just put a heap of ground units that can't shoot back and have an f10 menu 
option to set up or set up so that you can actually select and spawn them in and it just gives you some options when you're mucking around and practicing so if you want to practice using harms you can spawn in sa6s or whatever you want and that is it guys all right i hope that helped you and you learned something there if you did hit that like button and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button for the uh, youtube channel as well i also stream on twitch monday to friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So if you haven't already, come on in and say good day there. Check me out and come and uh, have a chat. Ask any questions you've got live on stream. Alrighty, guys. Catch you fuckers on the next one. Peace.